even in times of uncertainty, the annual planning session sets the strategic direction and priorities for the year and beyond. The one-page strategic plan is the instrument that we use to produce this alignment and ultimately get the right people doing the right things in your business. A well-run annual planning session is normally split over two days and helps teams align better around the strategic priorities for the next year. Welcome to Summit Scale, where high achiever owner managers come to learn how to grow their small businesses into successful companies. Here's a nine part agenda for a solid and highly productive annual planning session. Item one, the check-in. Allow 30 minutes for this. Each member of your team shares the organization's three greatest accomplishments in the previous year and each member then shares his or her greatest personal accomplishment for the year and their expectations for the annual planning session. Item two, previous year review. This is where your team review the previous year's goals and numbers, the previous year's revenue, profit, gross margin and other relevant key numbers and the last quarter's priorities or rocks. You want only black or white, achieved or not achieved answers, ideally achieving 80% or better of your goals to be at the right level in your goal setting. And this is one of the reasons your goals must be very specific. Of course, depending what industry you're in, you might have to make allowances for not recognizing the challenges you may have faced this year. Item three, team condition. Allow up to two hours for this. Each member of the team receives feedback from the others on their single greatest strength or most admirable ability and their biggest weakness or hindrance to the success of the company. And the exercise is done out in the open with the entire leadership team present. After everyone has received the feedback from their team members, each then must choose one thing they will commit to doing differently in the coming year based on the feedback. This is a very short, simple, very powerful team building exercise that builds openness and honesty on the team. Item four, SWOT and issues list. The section provides an opportunity for everyone to update and share what they believe the organization's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats are. This is the classic SWOT analysis, a management tool for helping an organization take a good look at itself and clarify its current state, both good and bad. And the most productive outcome of the SWOT analysis is the issues list. This list, along with all additional issues that get raised throughout the session, should be added to your issues list for the next day's issue solving. Item five, the one-page strategic plan review. At this point in the session, you're, you challenge the company vision. Working your way through the one-page strategic plan, take a hard look at your core values and purpose. Make sure everyone is still on board with the BHAG, the big, hairy, audacious goal. Where you're not on the same page, you have to discuss and debate it until everyone is in sync. Assuming you are all in agreement, you throw out the old three-year goals and create brand new ones. You want to make sure that everyone agrees on the same image three years from now. Once the new three-year picture is clear, go to work on next year's plan. Set the revenue, profit and numbers for the coming year and then set your three to five most important goals. Remember, less is more, so be careful. Don't overthink this. When the vision is clear, the numbers and goals are right in front of you. You just have to put them down on paper and agree with them. Item six, establish next quarter's priorities, your rocks. And allow up to two hours for this. With clarity of the one-page strategic plan and the issues list clear, your team then determines what the priorities, the rocks are for the coming quarter and who is accountable for each. This will create a laser focus for your organization for the next 90 days. Item seven, tackle key issues. Allow between two to three hours for this. This agenda item is where your team now tackles all the remaining issues from the issues list. You will really tackle all of the issues, but it's a important that you tackle the top issues. Item eight, next steps, just 10 minutes for this. This is where you come into the home straight and recap all action items on the management action plan. This will make sure everyone is fully accountable for their commitments. 
Item nine, the conclusion. This is where the team takes a deep breath and puts a tidy bow on the session. Each team member shares three things, their overall feedback on the day, whether their expectations were met or not, and a rating out of 10 of the session. At the conclusion of your annual planning session, your team should feel 100% on the same page with each other, that the priorities are for the coming quarter are clear, and that all the key issues have been resolved. Be sure to take this quality time as a team to evaluate your strategic plan. Forward-thinking business leaders are doing more strategic planning. They commit to jumping into this process for the long haul because that's how you will see growth to a point of breakthrough. If you'd like some help in facilitating your strategic planning session, book a complimentary 15-minute call with me at timewithshane.com. In those 15 minutes, we'll find out if you are good to go on your own or if you could use some help. I'm Shane Spears of Summit Scale. See you next time.